Maybe I won't do an eyelash curler today. I must always do though. But if you do that, it will take it right back off. So sometimes the best thing to do is curl your lashes before you do your liner. Of course, it makes it a little harder to get to your, um, to get to the line because now you have curly lashes and you got to get behind them to the line. So, you know, it takes a skilled artisan to do all this. No, it doesn't. I'm not skilled at all. I just been putting makeup on for about 40 years. And that is what makes me, when people say, you're so good at makeup, I say, well, good heavens, I should be. I'm 58 years old, and I need to be um, good at it. I've been wearing it since I was 12, 13, something like that. And I just want to sneak. And then when I got honest about it, 14, 15, oh my gosh, I had rainbow eyes. But now that's in style. Seriously. About then, I would have like three different colors going up. I'd have, and I loved the green tone, so I would have a dark green, a light green, a brown, and a peach. And it looked like a little green rainbow there. Girls! No. Oh my goodness. Sit down, sit down, sit. Girls! Bree? Bree? Girls, I w I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. i got to get this picture. All right, so y'all got to see what I'm looking at. All right, hold on. Is that the cutest? Can y'all see? They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm in love with my own dogs. Okay. Y'all want to see what else I'm, I'm doing? I'm eating a little bacon. Mm -hmm. I'm in breakfast with y'all. Okay. Mascara. What should we do today? Um, you know what I haven't used in a while? And then if it's not good, when I open it, I'm going to throw it out. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. So it's waterproof. It's in this purple quilted, it's supposed to look like snake skin, I guess. Leather. It smells fun. Do you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. When mascara has kind of a stinky smell, or it's so dried out, see there's a lot of liquid on this. This is an old, maybe I just haven't used it. Cause I'll buy stuff to show y'all, and then I go back to Old Faithfuls, or I try it, and then I buy something else so I don't go backward much, and then these things are fine, and they need to be used up. So we have a plumber. Is one of the things I was going to tell y'all about because there was a leak in the wall and I told my husband is this house just not well built he was hunting 35 years this was bound to happen it's very normal to have a copper pipe that sprung a like pinhole size leak he put some putty or something on it to get us to today came and picked me up at the airport last night almost midnight and um yeah it's yeah, so they're very interested in this plumber that's going in and out. So y'all forgive me for the excess barking. Okay, y'all, I gotta tell you, I do like this because I clearly feel like I didn't get all my mascara off last night. I'm using my, and normally I do, or did I maybe not even do that? Did I not? I was so tired, y'all. Oh, there is a nice long fuzz. I don't think that's actually dog hair. You have dog hairs in your life when you have two little white dogs. But I think that was just a fuzz like from a sweater or shirt because I did wear that. And who knows where it actually came from. There's a lot of excess product on this wand, which I like because I feel like you can really build the lashes. And I love a lot of mascara. Y'all know that. So I've tipped out the ends and now I'm combing it back through. And I'm especially focusing on getting these um, inner ones pointed towards the nose and the outer ones pointed towards the ear. And then just make sure you fan straight up in the middle. And you get a nice fanned effect of your lashes. And then I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, down, wiggle, wiggle, down, wiggle, wiggle, down. The wiggle just gets the brushes on either side of the lash. So it's, it's, it's just more mascara catches on it. Then I use the tip in and I literally go from the top down, top down, top down. There we go. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to add. That was good for one pass. I like that, y'all. That's the Tarte Lights Camera. It normally says action and it says splashes. 
I think the other one says lashes that's so not waterproof. So yeah, we're going to move that to the front of the line. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, I wanted to add back a little bit of a dark color to this outer area because there's a, a the liner bleeded up a little for some reason. So I'm going to choose the darkest color in this palette, which is, who is this? It's um, Charlotte Tilbury's Stars in Your Eyes palette. Looks very similar, if y'all remember, to the Cherry palette. But rather than going there, I'm going to get, where is a little, let's do this. This is a Buff and Blend, but it's kind of a brushy, but short and um, I wouldn't, don't know why they'd call this a blender brush because that's very dense. Um, and the denser ones are really for applying dark color. I'm going to mix from the happy eyes and the confident eyes, this brown and this purpley. It's actually a purple. Because I want a really dark color. And I'm going to tap it off real good. No fallout, no fallout. But I'm going to go right there on the outer area. Just right there. And then once through the crease. Kind of blend it a little. I want this to be a little darker. Do you see the difference? That just got a darker edge than that. That's the difference. See how that's kind of a peachy pink edge and that's a little darker. That's all I wanted. It's a more dramatic look. I will still need to blend that. So we're going to add again those two colors together. It's like a brown and a purple together. Tap it off really, really good. Because I just want to get some color here. And I didn't really need it on this side once through. But I'm still going to need to blend it in there once through. There, okay. So see, I didn't need it as much over here. There. So it's about the same, about the same. Okay. Where's my blender? And I'm going to just leave that brush out just in case in blending I mess it up. So. Again, we're just getting rid of that. We're diffusing that line right there because it's too obvious of a line. Yeah, that's all we're doing. We don't blend this color in. I don't want to do that. We're just diffusing that line where I just put it on. There. Like that. And what that basically did was make it a little darker out here so it kind of brings it out a little bit. That kind of cat eye look is why people do that. But also, this would be great for anywhere, but I'm just doing this. Oh, actually, I'm going on a date with my husband tonight, so I'm just doing my makeup for the day because I'm around today. This is not what I'm going to be wearing. I got this lace, um, like, creamy white dress. Could not get my arms through the sleeves. It was sad. I don't know what I'm going to do. Lose weight. My husband brings me back and bless a little heart. But anyway, um, I have been doing good lately, y'all, just so you know. Um... For uh, breakfast, I've been having my red juice um, drink, which has, you know, things like mulberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, all the dark berries in a drink. And then it also has some, um, like, green tea or something in it. I actually don't know if it's green tea. I think it's in my green drink, which I haven't started green drinking yet. What I'm going to try to do is my red drink for breakfast, so green drink for dinner, and a big salad with some uh, grilled chicken in for lunch. And um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to have anything else. I probably will have something on either side of having those drinks, but it won't be, I mean, that will be my first thing in the morning, which is good to get that right on your stomach. And then at the end of the night, I may not have a dinner just because I have acid reflux. And my doctor has told me, unless you can eat at five or six o'clock, you don't need to be eating. Really, he said five o'clock because you need to be finished with any food in your stomach six hours out from going to sleep. Well, that would mean you have to eat at six to go to bed at 12. So what he's basically saying is you don't need to be having dinner. That actually is good because you don't want to build up a whole bunch of calories before you go to dinner to, to go to sleep anyway, but you do need to have some. So I will do the, the green drink, which will naturally have some sugar to it. So for diabetics, you have to be very, I'm not diabetic, but I'm pre-diabetic and I'm trying to not become diabetic, but you do have to have some sugars before you go to sleep for your heart. Um, and so what I may do is have that drink and then maybe some, uh, a mouthful of, um, peanut butter. And I don't mean all, the all natural. So even just plain Jiffy peanut butter is going to have some sugar in it. Um, and, but it's a protein and it's, um, peanut oil is a, a good healthy fat. So, um, for those who can have peanuts. So 
I may do that or I may just do some kind of little healthy like snack. I've got this little um, Goodness Knows, I think is what the brand is. And they come in four little squares when you open the little power bar thing. Um, and I'll just maybe one of those squares. And then you got to brush your teeth because you got a little nuts and things in your teeth. But So I'm going to figure that out. But I have been doing good, so I need to go step on the scale and see if it's showing. I did a lot of walking more than usual. A lot of Stairmaster. I mean, we were going up and down the stairs in the arena every single day on breaks. You know, we may have been sitting and listening to a speaker, but then we would go on these breaks. So you had to go up these three flights of stairs, down these three flights of stairs, up these three flights of stairs, down these three flights of stairs, up these three flights of stairs, down these three. Because there was two breaks. So you go up, down, break down to break and then we left so it's even coming down you got resistance going on so coming downstairs for those of you saying i don't know if i can take going up and down stairs if you can get up the coming down real slowly that resistance is good for your um your quads and your th your right above your knee so i learned that because of my husband um so we got all the makeup done and uh, we've done all the blending so I think I'm done, y'all. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. I'm going to go try out my little tote. Actually, it's not the time of year for the tote. It's a little too creamy white. <laughs> I don't know. You know me. I don't really go with all those rules. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But this is the look. I am going to go talk to my um, glasses people about getting the anti-glare put on this. Because see how when I look at you, see how you can see the lights in my glasses? That's got to stop. I have to look down and then you can't see it and then you almost can't see the glass itself that's how i wanted it these are also not very much um glass and so um i may actually get a bigger frame so that my eyes are seen through it instead of it competing with the shape of my eyes so who knows what i'm gonna do probably some new glasses soon but um i hope you all have a happy valentine's day even if you don't have a sweetheart in your life you can still love you and know that you are loved by god and i love you too so Love you guys. I'm, I'm, I miss you. <laughs>